Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're going to be doing a new playthrough of Kenshi. It's going to be a limited series, uh, so it should be around you know, maybe between 15 to 30 episodes, uh, which is actually pretty short for Kenshi. Um, so we're going to have some kind of focus uh, as far as story. We're going to have a kind of a beginning, middle, and end. One of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it's such a great game. When I first saw this game, I thought, wow, oh, this game looks kind of like older CRPGs, looks a little bit dated, uh, the graphics don't look all that great, and then once I started playing it, it's, it was just amazing, it kind of blew me away, uh, how much freedom you have in this game. So I, I absolutely love this game. So we are going to be playing as the Hive Exile as our game start. There's a bunch of great uh, game starts in vanilla, which is what we'll be playing with. Uh, we're not going to do any mods uh, this playthrough. So the Hive Exile is uh, kind of an interesting start. I haven't really done a full playthrough of it, but I've always kind of wanted to try it. So that's what we're going to focus on today. So this playstyle, you have been exiled from your hive for not loving the queen enough, sent out into the wilds with no food or equipment. If you don't die from pheromone withdrawal or big things, you're faced with finding your place among the insane human civilizations. So it's a little bit of a hard start and even shows the difficulty as being hard. Um, I have tried this one out just briefly, so uh, I do have a little bit of a, a understanding of it. So it shouldn't be too bad. We can change some advanced options down here. Uh, I tend to leave them all as default just because I feel like the game kind of does better overall as a story-driven kind of let's play, so that's what we're going to focus on as well. Uh, so we'll get started. Uh, we are going to play as Tank Face. Uh, so I do have a character in mind that we will be playing. Uh, you can see there's a couple variants here. We have a Hive Prince and a worker drone. Uh, we'll be focusing on Tank Face. So I kind of like his stance here. It kind of goes with his character. He's tough. He's going to be quite tall. Not too tall, but he's, he's going to have some, some decent height. He's going to be a little bit bigger. And he is a soldier drone, so he's a He's a big character. It looks pretty good. You'll notice uh, if you play through some of this, uh, the hivers don't really have a lot of meaningful variation in their uh, customization. Most of it's just size, uh, and a lot of it doesn't really change too much compared to the other uh, species and races. So, we'll spend too much time here. Okay, I think we have our character. So here's Tankface. We're going to go ahead and confirm to get started, and it's going to drop us right into Vane. Uh, not the safest area. And we are a hive exile, so they do not like us. So we are going to leave them to their huts of dung, I believe it is. And we are going to get out of here. Uh, but before we do, it's good to kind of take a kind of a scout, if you will, with a camera. Just to make sure there's no enemies out here, especially uh, beak things, which are common in the area. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our map. So first things first, um, this is kind of be the focus of our playthrough. This is the Southern Hive region called Grey Shelf. And Tankface is really upset with the uh, Southern Hive. Uh, they've wiped out part of his Western Hive, so his mission in life is to wipe them out. And that's what we're going to aim to do in this playthrough. Part of the challenges for this playthrough will include uh, doing this solo. Uh, so we're probably going to need some enhancements to uh, Tankface, like robotic limbs and that sort of thing. And it does kind of randomize our start a bit uh, when we choose uh, the hyper start. So we started way over in the west, which is going to be 
a little bit of a problem because we have a long hike to get to a safer area to kind of start training up uh, Tank Face. So let's see how far we can get uh, without dying. So I am going to have him run as much as we can while hopefully avoiding enemies. And we do want to get the run speed as high as possible uh, because we do have big things and bandits in the area. We also have the fog to our north, which is about the last place we want to end up right now. Uh, also, for new players, I recommend not speeding up. It's tempting to speed up this part of the game because it is, you know, you're waiting for your character to run through the terrain and waiting for the next thing to happen. Be a little more careful if you are uh, low level. And the reason for that is if you speed up the game and your character that runs into trouble, uh, there's a good chance you'll take a lot of damage before you're able to uh, slow the game down and start actually trying to avoid danger. So we're just going to let Tank Face run through this dangerous area at his own pace. And hopefully uh, boost his run speed here very shortly. Once we get up to about 20 run speed or so in the safe area, we can speed up the game so we don't have to wait. Okay, so those guys over here... Those are Fogmen. We definitely don't want to be chased by them right now, so... I'm going to get a little bit more distance between us to get out of their vision range. Okay, so now we can see there's Thing moving down here. Nomads, okay. No worries about the nomads, they are friendly. Go. Tank Face is well on his way to avenging his fellow Hiver's deaths. And he'll bring retribution to the Southern Hive. Bit nerve wracking with a character that has one stats, just ones and zeros. It's basically a nobody. We will be training Tank Face to be quite a warrior. He is going to be tough as nails, especially with robotic limbs. And he will be the nightmare of the Southern Hive. Tank Face is coming for you guys. Okay, we're getting back into Bane kind of territory, so we have to be careful because beak things, which are big giant death giraffes, can run mid-30ish miles per hour, so about 35 roughly miles per hour, which pretty much outruns almost everything in the game until the late game, so gotta be pretty careful. And in this terrain, they are very hard to spot, especially if they're behind trees. So we'll see if we can get into a town, get some food, or tank face, he will eventually need it. The nice thing about hivers, uh, their hunger uh, is pretty low, so they they don't metabolize food very quickly, which is nice. You don't have to spend so much time trying to feed them. And now that we are in the save territory, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a save. Actually, it's just a quick save. I just noticed him. Uh, we don't want to run into this guy. He is a gorilla, and uh, he is not a friendly guy. He's got some big teeth as well. So let's keep running. And we can see our destination here, uh, which is the hub. That's what our starting area is going to be. So we're going to make 
make our way down to the hub, which I believe is right around this area. And let's see what our run speed is. Still 16. Not great, but we're, we're getting better. Oh, the world doesn't know it yet, but Tank Face is going to be the terror. He will be so strong. He will be the ultimate Hiver Chad once we're done with him. I think we did pretty well. We got lucky a few times. Almost got uh, eaten by a gorilla. Well, beaten up by a gorilla. And eaten by uh, Fogman. Just one would have probably taken us out. Uh, since we are not armed and we are minimal stats. Lowest on the on the tier of stats, ones and zeros. I think what I might do is once our run speed is up a little bit higher, I know a spot to go get some entry level weapons, basic stuff. And then we can start fighting. Let's see if we can find some enemies to uh, introduce to the guards. We'll do some kiting so we can get some uh, equipment straight away, scavenge off the uh, bodies of the bandits. I also plan on training stealth and uh, assassination, thievery, uh, because as a single character, uh, those kind of will level the playing field somewhat and also make it so I don't have to grind so much to get some good gear. All right, we can see Squin in the distance. One of my favorite towns. Love the rocks that encircle the town. It's really cool looking, especially with the sun setting behind. It looks really cool. So while we are in town, Let's go ahead and train up our stealth uh, by quickly speeding up time and going into stealth mode. And I'm going to go ahead and cut to uh, the point where I'm happy uh, with the stealth that we've gained just by grinding this, uh, kind of cheesing the stealth mechanic here. Alright, so we've done a little bit of grinding for stealth experience. Uh, we are at a, about 11 stealth uh, just by sneaking through town and speeding up time, so that's a pretty quick way to get a little boost to your stealth uh, stat. Okay, so now we need to start finding some enemies to fight. Otherwise, uh, Kenji is going to be very difficult. <laughs> without the experience of battle. So let's go ahead and go back to the hub and see if we can find any enemies to fight. The game will auto-pause, by the way, if it needs to load an area and your character is moving too quickly through the area. Sometimes I'm pausing, sometimes the game is pausing. One quick uh, tip for beginners, if you see this little tent icon on the map, that means there's an enemy bandit camp there nearby. So let's see if we can stir some trouble. Stir up some trouble. And I hope I can run fast enough to keep these guys off my back. I don't want them to get too far behind me. Mostly because they will lose interest if I run too far ahead. The good news is it looks like uh, I'll be able to introduce these guys to some guards and hopefully get some decent loot out of it. Let's go ahead and stop running and pretend like we want to fight here. And no, we're just going to go ahead and run. 
Got quite a group here. I might have to take these guys up to the hub. Okay, well, let's make sure everybody's with us. Good. I'm wondering if these uh, shop guards can handle all these bandits. I think they probably can. We'll have to wait and see. This is a pretty decent sized group. Poor tank face, he's naked, no belongings, no skills. There we go, bandits are going to get wiped by these ninjas. Now I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here because there's so many I'm wondering if I should try the other roof. And maybe then we'll get back down before they can take a swipe at me. I might take a few hits on the way down. Let's just go try and see. Yep, took a, a few hits there. Shouldn't be too bad. No, I'll be alright. Ooh, I'm getting hit by arrows. Ooh. Okay, don't slow down, whatever you do. I'm getting hit by arrows. Got a few arrows in the arm and the back. Uh, run speed is still good though, so just keep running away. I'm hoping I can uh, come back and get some bandages, bandage myself up. Oh, I got a toughness of three. That's great. I will have to mend my chest pretty soon or it's going to get worse. And I kited most of these guys away from the guards. So let's just make a wide arc here to avoid the archers. Come back up. Yeah, I think this might have been a little bit too many for this establishment. A few more dust bandits to deal with, and our oh, one one guard is down. The other one's not doing so hot. And I don't think I can bring all these guys to their door, so let's let's just sprint out of here and head on up to the hub, and we'll come back down and grab their loot momentarily. Oh, got some guards helping us out. That's great. Let's see if I can. I don't know. If they're they're not hostile towards me, but I think they will help. Let's see if we can get these guys into a fight. Oh, we actually have uh, more bandits coming to the party. Uh, oh, uh oh. Better run, better run. Oh, uh, I don't want to go that way because I got an archer there. So at least we got hit in the head, which is okay because our head is pretty tough. Our chest is not doing so hot. So we are going to need to um, get some bandages here pretty soon. Our toughness is negative 13. Our, uh, Four, so our knockout point is negative 13, so as long as we avoid taking too much damage, we'll be okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab this guy's stuff real quick, and make like a tree. Let's trade all this stuff off, and I think we're going to go ahead and trade this off as well. Uh, maybe not right away. But we definitely don't want anything that will slow us down like this armored skirt. Now we need bandages, so we're just going to grab some basic ones. Grab some food while we're here. And that's pretty much all we need right now. Everything else is kind of overpriced for what it is. So we're going to go ahead and just close that. We're going to assign Tank Face the medic job and let him heal himself. 
All he's thinking about right now is eventually getting down to the Southern Hive and fulfilling his life's destiny. We all have to start somewhere. One bandage at a time. Okay, so we're all healed up. Oh, not healed up, but we're all bandaged up, so... Let's head back down and see what the aftermath has in this battle area. More loot. And you can see our encumbrance is back to zero, and we're back up to 18 miles per hour run speed. What is this? Holy Nation. Now we can get a little bit of XP if we offer first aid to this guy. So let's see if we can. Now we can get a little combat XP. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, he's attacking him. Okay. Let's attack this guy together. He does have a crossbow as well. Great. Oh, we have some archers back up. Uh, probably gonna have to run to avoid those guys. Oh, this guy is tough. Um, so he's gonna do yeah. a lot of damage to us uh, if we don't get out of here. So we're gonna drop the extra loot. And we'll come back for it. I uh, have to drop the skirt and the sword as well because they are too heavy and I need to be fast. So let's be fast. Oh, this guy doesn't have. Oh, this guy has a crossbow. Run. Run the other way. Oh, bandits. More bandits. These are hungry bandits. They are not currently hostile to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and just wait here for a little bit before I decide to run away. Let's see if this guy has a crossbow, that's good. Nope, terrible crossbow, but I will take the arrows. Okay, so nobody is hostile towards me. Uh oh Looks like... Uh, Okay, I think we're okay. These guys are gonna walk away. I hope, yeah, they will. And the tank face is just gonna stand here looking tough, and they'll leave me alone. All right. So now, let's grab the stuff we just dropped here. We'll keep the armor on from now on, give us a little bit of chest protection. And uh, grab the rest of the stuff that we dropped. We're actually going to leave the samurai blade there for a minute, or the horse chopper. And let's see what kind of crossbow this guy has. Not bad. I'll take it. And for now, uh, you're going to use a crossbow and a sidearm. Solo character, that is a much safer way to go than just trying to melee everybody in the very beginning of the game. Uh, let's see. Do you have a little bit more room? I don't think anybody else is getting up anytime soon. So we'll grab a few more things to sell off. Okay, that seems pretty good. Alright, is everybody patched up? Looks like. The barman is down, so it looks like we've been able to... Uh, yeah, the barman looks like he went down somewhere. So it doesn't look like we'll be able to trade, unfortunately. We do have to find him. Uh, what I'd like to do is add some better gear to him. Uh, so that if you know he does get attacked again, he doesn't die. The shop will remain open. Do not see the barman. Oh, there he is. Oh, and he's dying. We definitely want to first aid him. Can we first aid him? First aid, there we go. I'd 
like I said, Kenshi is a brutal game. The shop owners that are around will die and they will not come back. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen. And hopefully this guy will uh, recover before any slavers come by. Otherwise he'll be a slave and there will be no shop. Well, that was unlucky, but at least we get to provide the barman some decent armor. Uh, well, we can do better. We'll at least give him a weapon for now that's decent. And we'll check the other bodies for better armor. I will give him the nicer helmet. And... Boots. Let's see if we can find him a nice armored skirt. I think that'll do. Oh, now we can patch this guy up as well. Well, we were going to patch you up, but... You were running at us like you were going to fight us. Oh, it's a different person. We'll patch her up and then we'll move on. Let's see if there's anybody else we can patch who helped us. This person helped us. Let's patch them up. We'll repeat this for a little bit. We'll grab some loot, sell it, uh, come back, grab more, and um, try and patch this guy up down here. And I will cut most of this just to save us from the repetitive nature of looting these bodies. And we'll continue on. Uh oh. Let's hope these guys don't make their way down to... Oh boy, I think we're going to lose a vendor. I'm pretty sure those guys are going to enslave our vendor down there. We might have to kidnap him and hide him for a minute. As soon as we can run out of here, we'll sprint down there. Grab him, kidnap him, hopefully under the cover of night. And we'll put him in a bed up here. Hopefully, uh, nobody will be able to see us. Oh, and they're going to be preoccupied trying to um, enslave a lot of these bandits here. In fact, they might not even make it to the barman. So I might let them kind of do their thing for a while. Uh, they are not hostile to us, by the way, uh, unless we attack them. Or if we're on the ground, or they can pick us up and sell us into slavery. So our goal is to sneak the barman into a bed, and that way he will return once he's healed. The problem is, if they see me grab the barman, I'll be in trouble. So, anybody up here? No, okay. So what I need to do is sneak. Let's see what they're up to in here. Okay, so it looks like they're fairly busy. I think they're going to come outside anytime soon. Let's go ahead and grab the barman and sneak off. And I'm going to drop a few things here just to lighten our load so that we can have a better time sneaking. sneak up here. Don't think anybody has noticed. We're going to try and get the barman into a bed in the hub. Okay. Slave trader wolf. I'm glad we left when we did. It appears slave traders are making their way 
to the bar. We can just get him into a bed without any of the trade ninjas knowing. Which is kind of ironic because I'm helping him. Uh, be set. And we'll still have two vendors in this area. And carrying this body is actually helping my strength quite a bit. So tank phase should be getting quite a bit stronger here. Perfect. So now that is done. Our bar ninja, bar trade ninja, is uh, gonna be okay. He's gonna sleep here to sleep it off. And then we are now in the clear. I hope. Let's test that by going into the bar. I don't think anybody noticed I was carrying him. Nope. We are okay. We're gonna drop another quick save. All right. So now let's go ahead and loot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and loot the rest of these bodies, and we will pick up here uh, where we left off after I've made as much money as possible, just grabbing a bunch of loot off the bodies. And I will catch you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Take care.